So um, I wanted to kind of come back in. I had alluded to this a little bit more, but you remember um, Loeb, the kind of demon, uh, the digital demon that we introduced at the beginning. She actually lives in a place that philosophers call the Uncanny Valley. Um, it was attributed to a Japanese roboticist named Masahiro Mori. Um, I actually first learned about this when I was in college. I, I took a class with an amazing instructor at Princeton named Lawrence Wechler, and he wrote a book uh, or, or a, an essay, he used to work for The New Yorker, about the Uncanny Valley. And uh, what he said was, if you make a robot that is 50% lifelike, like C-3PO, that's fantastic. If you make a robot that's 90% lifelike, that's fantastic. If you make it 95% lifelike, that's the best. It's like the best robot possible. And then if you make it 96% lifelike, it's a disaster. And the reason is because 95% lifelike robot, that's actually C-3PO, you know, R2-D2 is more than 50% lifelike. Uh, the reason is if a 95% lifelike robot like C-3PO is a robot that's incredibly lifelike, but it still has the squeaks and walks like this, a 96% lifelike robot is a human being with something wrong. And that's what happened with Nicole when she was looking at her headshots. That's what happened with me when I was looking at the little boy talking to the small giant. And that's why Loeb is so disturbing. And this is the stuff, honestly, of horror movies. And they have actually documented in both moving and still images, this phenomenon called the uncanny valley. Those images that I showed you were uncanny. They were odd, disturbing. That's what uncanny means. They were just weird. Um, and uncanny is actually a philosophical term. So that's uh, where uncanny valley comes from. And what happens is that goal, that place where you go from 95% likeness to 96% likeness, you go steep down in the uh, familiarity curve and it suddenly becomes what we would mostly call creepy or even scary. That's the uncanny valley. And I would say a lot of image AI right now, uh, the better it gets, often we it's falling over the cliff into that uncanny valley where it's now creepy. And so if any of us who worked with AI for images totally knows, like we're sometimes freaked out by what it's creating. And you can see all sorts of examples from movies and other, other venues of life where the uncanny valley was in, un, unintentionally triggered. So one of the classics is Tom Hanks in the Polar Express. You can see that they made real care to like exactly mimic Tom Hanks in that kind of digital avatar, which was clearly a drawing and it was creepy. People did not like it. The movie tanked in the theaters. It cost hundreds of millions of dollars to the movie studio because they inadvertently found themselves in the uncanny valley. And it, uh, those of you who remember the CGI Luke Skywalker in one of the latest Star Wars movies, you know, it looks amazing until you like stare at it and then there's this weird wax kind of quality to those eyes, to his skin. You know, it doesn't look quite real. It looks like there's like maybe a sheet of metal underneath, a, you know, a, a kind of a skin and he's going to rip off and he's going to be an android. I mean, it's very messed up. And uh, then, of course, the horror movies, Megan, um, the, the TV series Servant. Um, the, those are other examples of the Uncanny Valley. Uh, and then just everything, I mean, it seems like Madame Tussaud was like designed to cre creep us out. Uh, I guess people like it because it's been around forever. But, you know, when they did the Taylor Swift um, at Madame Tussauds, her fan base was up in arms because they were all messed, like they were all like really freaked out by, by her. And the part of the reason why is because it's so good. You know, you look at that and that looks exactly like her. I mean, uh, the rock on the right, you know, you have to like really stare for a sec to realize which one is the real rock versus the not real rock. And so we're gonna go actually uh, now into uh, in a second, a, uh, a, a, a little game of AI or not AI. And it's a fun game to play. 